Hey there guys, how you doing? Let's get into the video. And what we're gonna be doing is painting the body shell. Let's turn it on and wash it off. Probably gonna mess this up now on camera. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to tape up the sides and the reason we are going to, and I hadn't even told y'all what color and what I'm trying to paint on this uh, thing. But basically, uh, I know this is not the exact body, but I'm gonna paint it like my dad's 1993 Z71. Uh, I really like that paint scheme on it, the blue and the tan. Uh, that has a really cool look to it. And I, unfortunately, I couldn't find an exact body uh, like that, but this one was fairly similar-ish it's not perfect, uh, but it's still a standard cab and short bed and kind of looks the general look of it. So we're going to tape off this section right here and we're going to paint uh, the first part blue, then remove the tape and then paint the tan on after that because you want to spray your darker colors first than your lighter colors. I was thinking about painting this red, like, kind of like my truck, but the thing is I already seen this body red and it, I don't know, I don't really like it too much. So we're gonna paint it like my dad's truck. So according to the Project Farm YouTube video, uh, this is the best tape that you can use, painter's tape. So let's get it on there. Boom. All right, so it's about 12.30 in the morning, but I got this thing fully done, fully taped up. Everything, you know, exactly how I want it. It's very tedious, took a lot of time, but I hope it's gonna be worth it. All right, so just gonna give it a little dust coat first. And I'm probably wondering, well, why don't you just spray regular spray paint on a Lexan body? My theory is, I think, because I hadn't really seen any YouTube videos of anybody doing that, I think if you spray it on a Lexan body because it flexes, it might cause the paint to chip, and it's not really designed to stick to that, so I think that's why you gotta use Lexan paint for a Lexan body. And I think it's almost the same color as the racing go-kart. Maybe just slightly brighter. All right, so I just actually put four coats on it. I would actually like to darken it a little bit. So if I put white on, it's gonna brighten the color. I picked dark blue for a reason. So I'm actually gonna do a light coat of black. So if you look on the inside, yeah, you can kind of see through it. I mean, that's just part of it. There are a few imperfections here and there or whatever, but I mean, that's on any RC car paint or any non-professional paint job, am I right? Any paint job you do, it's gonna take prep work. It's just like welding, you know, you gotta prep it right for it to be right. The easy part's just spraying the can. Well, I mean, you gotta have a little technique when you're doing that. And this right here is the first RC car body shell I've ever painted. By the way, if you're wondering the exact colors I'm using, well, here you go. All right, y'all, so the paint is uh, dry enough to just lightly touch. So now, probably really, really, really tricky part, it's gonna be undoing all this tape all the way around and being very careful. So I'm just gonna cut to it being done. So there you can see we got all the tape removed. All the tape. Uh, I had to put some right here because the protective film, when I put it over there, was starting to come off and crap. Same with there and same with there. But yeah, it came out really clean. Uh, so I'm gonna Wipe this down with a clean paper towel to get any uh, excess crap off. And then, I'm gonna spray this. Meow.
All right, so paint is pretty dry. It's not fully cured, but it's good enough to deal with anyway. So there you go, y'all, windows are out. Let's take a look at this now. Wow, that looks awesome. I wanna paint these wheels. All right, so we're gonna let these wheels dry for a little while and then we'll peel the tape off and check them out. That looks awesome. All right guys, the moment of truth. We're putting our stickers on. And I got a great idea. Let's put it on top of this clear protective film. No, I'm just joking. Unveil this delicate masterpiece. It's like peeling, uh, you know, your dead skin after you've gotten sunburned. All right, so you guys are gonna see the ultimate transformation. So let's get these stickers on. Moment of truth, guys. Here it is. All stickered up. Front looks great. Sides, they look pretty good. Door handles, gas can. The 2RX4 logo. Windows, kind of a botchy crap job because it's impossible to line all this crap up and do that and get air bubbles and all that. But yeah, you see I got this right here. That looks good. On the side, same thing, door handle. And the rear end. And this window actually came out perfect. So yeah, I think it has a really good look to it. Looks very similar to my dad's truck. Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? Yeah, this right here. Eh, it's not proper, but... I kind of followed the body line because that was like the only best thing I could do I could think of and it came out not too bad and yeah as you can see some places on here are not perfect whatsoever tiny bit of bleed through rain through drops or whatever same over this side you know there's a tiny bit of imperfections right here but you know what on the real truck the paint, the clear coat starting to come off on it, and you know, there's a little bit of imperfections in the paint, so that all just kind of adds character. And these wheels, I think, are going to match it absolutely perfect. All right, y'all, so unfortunately, I couldn't find any markers to then fix that window, so you know what? I just cut them out, pulled them off, I peeled that window off, and guess what? It looks a thousand times better. So let's get this thing put together.
here's the RC truck. And here's the real truck. Looks very similar, doesn't it? And the funny thing is, guys, it's not even done yet. You know, once I add my couple of little extra accessories I have coming, it's gonna look even more realistic. All right, y'all, so I am walking around the campground with this nice, new, quiet RC car as compared to the Transit. Much better, much, much better. I got some more parts coming uh, tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you then. So we got pin gear, bumper mounts, body clips, bumpers, rear bumper, some side mirrors, and a magazine. So the bumpers on here currently are not really made for this body shell. This one just sticks way, way, way too low. And uh, this one, I don't know, it just, it's more straight and the body kind of goes in. So it looks a little dumb and it's, you know, sitting too low as well. So these are the Traxxas 2 r Sports Sport bumpers that are actually designed for this body shell. And these bumpers are actually better because they sit up higher and, uh, you know, clear more obstacles. These bumpers are actually uh, mounted on fully and all in one piece. Same with that. This one I actually had to buy a bumper mount and then bolt the piece onto that. So unfortunately the kit didn't really come with any screws. I tried to reuse these screws but they were a little too small so I found some bigger screws here. So that should hold on a lot better. I had to trim a little bit on the front right there. Now when that goes on there, I put as close up to it as possible with still leaving it some room to you know, move around and flex. Check it out now, y'all. That bumper sits up much better. Same as the rear bumper. That rear bumper used to be like way down here in crap. So now we got the uh, mirrors and snorkel kit. I'm just gonna put the mirrors on because you know I really like to snorkel, honestly. And, and it wouldn't really go with the theme of this build. So we're just gonna put the mirrors on. All right, so I got the right and left window uh, masked off. So on the destructions, it says do a four millimeter hole. All right, so we got the holes deburred and everything. And as you can see, that goes right on there. That is one final thing I'm gonna do before installing this. I'm gonna paint the mirrors chrome, just like on the real truck. All right, so while those mirrors are drying, I may as well go on ahead and add my 16 tooth pending gear. All right, so stock is 11 tooth. It's a 45 tooth spur gear. It goes decently fast for what it is, but I want to go a little bit faster. And if you think this is crazy, you could put a 39 tooth on there and like a 22 on here. So the gearing on this thing is insane that you can do. So mirrors are dry, let's get them on. That is definitely a lot faster. I can put all my stuff in there. I got spare body clips. I got a little tool kit that came with the kit. And that's all in there. There's no way it can get out of there. Shut it back and just shut the lid. Guess what? It's going nowhere. All right, y'all, so that'll be all for this video. Uh, pretty much got everything accomplished on this car that I would I wanted to do. And uh, I think it looks absolutely epic. Let me know in the comments on what you think 
about it. And there will be some more go-kart and off-road lawnmower content. And uh, I will be attending the Cars and Cameras Mini Mayhem October uh, 20th through the 22nd. Just letting you guys know. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, click all the other buttons that YouTubers say to click. If you didn't like this video, click a thumbs down twice because two's better than one. Three borders at work. That doesn't count for likes, as we all know. It's very obvious. And yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.